I'm going to take you today through World of Haiku. World of Haiku is our simulated Linux operating system that trains people in actual cybersecurity skills. You can see the learner has a number of different um, missions within each one of the volumes that they can choose from. Each mission, when you go into it, has a set of goals mapped to the NICE framework. Let's see in this one, use ifconfig, use nmap, use those specific skills to progress the storyline. We have fun characters and immersive stories that carry the user through the hero story so that they can become immersed in the game. We get the user in the flow. You can see over here on the left, we have specifically characters that carry the user both through the story. In addition, they apply learning engineering techniques where we show the user specifically the, the skills that they need to be working on. So you can see that on the right-hand side, we have that this is an actual simulated Linux operating system. And so you can actually go through and type in Linux commands. We have tab complete. We have a manual that carries over to the Haiku Pro game. We have notes that the user can take that will also carry with them over to the Haiku Pro game. We map all of the skills in this particular version. We're mapping the skills to the CEH but we're in the process of uploading the NICE framework. So all the skills will be mapped to the NICE framework. And we can upload other frameworks as well, such as the MITRE ATT&CK or the OSCP. Hi, we're here to talk about Haiku Pro. What we're looking at right here is the dashboard where the learner can look at all of their different skills that they have. They can look at the learning paths that they have access to. In this case, the Intro to Ethical Learner learning path. They can look at their streaks, and they can access the skills resume. The skills resume is a summary of all the skills that the player has developed in all of the Haiku products, World of Haiku, Haiku Pro, and then eventually the unified product. It, you can see that the specific skills, we actually show how many times the user has done the skill, specific achievements and milestones that they've gotten, and we have the skills broken down according to the NICE framework into offensive, defensive, fundamental, and uh, forensic skills and the user can put these into a PDF to send to an employer or to a educator, a professor. All the ranges they have access to, each one of these ranges, you can search on them to look for different skills. Um, each one of the ranges, when they click on it, it will take them directly to an AWS backend where they have access to an actual network based in the AWS cloud. Each range has a certain amount of set of learning objectives they have a set of goals. Each one of these goals has specific answers. And we have incrementally increasing hints where the hints increase in their uh, ability to take the learner through the specific goal the further they go through it. You can see all the different goals here. This is an actual Kali Linux box. The learner has access to the manual and to the notes that they have from their World of Haiku game so they can take that all the way through with them. We have leaderboards as well for Haiku Pro, World of Haiku, and global leaderboards across all of the products. Hi, today I'm going to take you through the Haiku Job Connect feature. Job Connect feature is a unique feature that allows us to connect learners to jobs that specifically relate to the skills they have developed in the Haiku product suite. You can see here the you can access the Job Connect right now through Haiku Pro. Uh, you just click on Job Connect at the top. What I've got listed here are five of my top skills. These are actually skills that I have been working on and developing in the range. You can see a number next to them, which is the number of times of the number of different ranges and missions in which I've used that skill. These skills are then used to go out to the job databases and pull in specific jobs that relate to those skills. We allow the learners to be able to filter down the results using a number of different criteria be able to, uh, for instance, tell what seniority of job, the specific location of the job that they're looking for, and it gives me these jobs here. Um, each one of these jobs I can both click on and I can actually apply to the job. On the bottom of the same screen, I can look for other jobs other than the ones that have been presented to me. So I can go here, I can look up 
in this case cybersecurity in Los Angeles, and I get presented with a number of different jobs directly related to that. We filter these jobs out to focus only on cybersecurity jobs. Occasionally another type of job will fall in, but for the most part they all fall into cybersecurity jobs. Thank you.